traffic's a little busy here at this intersection today. Boat, horses, sled dogs. Okay. So here we are a couple of days later with two dogs. For bike drawing with two dogs, you want to have a neckline. This keeps them near each other. Also, when one dog goes squirrel, the other one will continue to run straight ahead and make a correction. We have the hookups, the tug part of the two dog line, the gang line, the bike noodle and the bike. Oh yeah, one other thing to never forget is the poopy bag. Alright, here we go guys. This extra line is not a rein. Sled dogs work off voice commands. You don't use reins, that's just a safety line so they don't run off. Ready? Okay, let's go. You want to keep your pace on by. That is your leave it command. When I see something, smell something, hear something interesting on by because you can't afford to have your dog stop in front of you. The line is fairly long so you do have time to react. Um, you still want to keep watching your dog's body language. Um, we just had the poopy incident a minute ago where Leggy was running funny. I was like, yep, he has to poop, so be aware, be ready to stop. For instance, don't be holding a camera in one hand. Heck! Oh boy. I'm very adamant about the on by command because if he stops or dodges, it could be dangerous. You teach this on a leash, and then you just make sure they pay attention to it. Um, keep your pace to your slowest dog. If somebody slows down, the tug slackens up, they come back in the neckline, you use brakes, you slow down. Don't let one dog dangle out to the side or behind you. You could uh, have a harness strip over their heads and then have a loose dog, and a loose dog could be a dead dog. Okay, line out. You can teach this at home by attaching them to a post or fence or something. You want them to stretch the line out and then wait. Wait. This is important because otherwise you get dogs turning around and creating tangles. have ridiculously well-trained dogs, you can probably use a G come command or a haw come command and you can get them to turn around. Otherwise, what you do is you throw your bike down in the middle of the trail, you get your dogs, and you go haw come. 
not, not feeling too much of this. Oh, Bickies also work. Wait. Of course, they'll try to turn around the other way because going back's boring. Wait. Wait. Bike is now backwards. Wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. This way. Come on. This way. Ho. Nope. Ho. Wait. If you have a friend on a bike, it's much easier. Line out. Okay. Okay, let's go. Lots of enthusiasm. Ha ha. And you've turned around, and you know, the enthusiasm continues. Ho, ho, ho. We're going back. Bike joring with one or two dogs is uh, pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, teach your dogs the basic commands on the ground, on a leash, and uh, get them used to a rattly set of wheels behind them by having somebody ride a bike or walk a bike behind them. And then hook them up and go for a ride. Choose a nice trail. That's not going to be too challenging at first. And uh, if you can, take some buddies. Have fun.